Hello motherfuckers and welcome back to Game of Thrones Iron from Ice. This is uh, yeah, episode 3 now. So in the last episode, just as a, a quick recap, we got sent to the wall. Garrod, Garrod Tuttle, the squire, got sent to the wall and we were about to play as Ethan, I believe, we were in the Ironwood. So yeah, th this, this is a more different approach, I believe, we'll be uh, trying to use diplomacy rather than swords, which, I don't know. It's not, not quite as fun. Well, he looks like a bell end. I'm not gonna lie, he's got that weird thing that's popular nowadays with the swept over her. He's like every single chavy male in the northwest of England. He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. She knows where I am, she's looking. I don't like this game anymore. Oh god, shut Maybe up. Maybe something happened to him. <laughs> Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me! Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like oh, fuck it. Fuck off, Ryan. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right and I would have been happier that way. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I wish Mira was Obviously, there. he doesn't understand the I'm world he's in. And and Roderick. Well, he's dead. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing, and can't she come home? I don't want her to die. Too. At least he you know he knows how King Ryan, London, King's she's Landing works. Perfectly work. safe, I promise you. <laughs> oh. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. Oh, that's a lovely place. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. I was going to say Garrett is smart, but no one will tell me what anyone who says did, "fuck the Boltons" is. I heard well, they got a death wish at least. I wouldn't call it smart. They said call someone it will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, oh yeah, he'll protect Sir everyone, Roland won't he? For one, he says you can't fight very well. What? And <laughs> he calls you a milksop. Sir Roiland forgets himself. He doesn't Sir Roiland know me forgets or, himself. Or God, what I'm capable of. What so pretentious. I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. <laughs> he taught Roderick and so Asher, and he even showed me how to fight properly. I mean, a lord should know how to fight. That's true, and it's not like that. Not to bring any offence, but I think Ryan's disabled. You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. You little it's so much fun. Then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. Yeah, never you've got to be. <laughs> and Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. It's puberty, mom. Puberty. Me All growing up is when you realise, oh wait, no. Just be you. Life is I shit. Like you the way you no, Asher saw it early. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I don't want to change, but to that's angry. a bit ambiguous. Well, yeah, I may there have you go. To. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about God, you. is this some weird Jamie Lannister and Cersei shit? It seems to go on a but lot. Since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I can have all the sweets I want. Yeah, yeah. Just make him diabetic so he can cut his legs off. Maestro nice Tengren would love that. I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. It's a, it's a joke. Not? God damn it. <laughs> Ryan will remember that. Imagine when he's 40, just being bitter when I tell him it's a joke. We'll rise up a, a revolt. A revolt? A, revoli a revolt? Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I think I think that means like a rebellion. What's the matter? I don't Lord know. Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. Got him like he's a fish. demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We well, I can't really hide must away. go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. 
See, I do, you do have to do it if you're a lord. You can't just go and cower in the woods. Or they'll do some Ramsey Snow shit and just hunt you down. Oh god, don't look so miserable. You're highborn. <laughs> you should never be sad. Unless you're Jon Snow. Mind you, actually, no, I won't say that. I won't say that. Spoiler for anyone who's not. They showed up unannounced. See the Lord TV White show. Is in a lather. Not I read the books even. Explain to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house, or was, I suppose. Is was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, oh. you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. <laughs> Only cowards and dead men roll over. Yeah, but I don't want to be a, a dead man. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to stay alive, and that... Going against someone with five times as many men and the back of the Boltons, that is asking for death. Lord Actually, I don't Ethan, know, I might try and get Lord Ethan killed. My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. I'm not going to take your hand, though. <laughs> My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. You would have got slaughtered, you fat pig. All my life. The foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. Well, he didn't have to sit audience with a and fat no cunt like you, so. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You what fucking appetite. bread? Is that like a really no salacious form of dough? I expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. Oh, well, I didn't, I didn't say the old man. Oh, fuck! That's how you talk to a lord, you foresters. <laughs> That's how he talks to a lord, shit though. Us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have I'd like to know why the Boltons have the White Oak back. the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five oh, fucking okay. centuries, okay. you cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh, him. What a terrible haircut. Your man, the squire. We that were minding our own business, bowl. keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer There's no point getting the worked up for this. Lord Ethan. Because nothing's gonna go well. In your name. And you are the Lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered Seemed them reasonable all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. All right, I'm calm yourself. Until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow can like tell a wounded to boss boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no <laughs> disrespect to you, my lady. Considering you Looks like a child who's just been chastised. This this is not over. 
It's over when my son says it is. I've heard enough, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the, the final The thing is, Reese Bolton actually I'll seems... I'll send him a raven, letting him know a forester man he... killed one of his own. That the new seems Lord quite Forrester rational. lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do you let them go. Bastard. Sometimes silence says a thousand words. Or some weird faggy quote like that. I don't know. You must find your voice, my lord. Your enemies will interpret your silence as a sign. I was of silent once when he was going. Brave, Fuck off, Duncan. I might send you to the wall as well. When Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Oh, that's something I don't look forward Raven. to. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. God, these people, they're just so annoying. It's like, right, do this, and then I do it, and they go, no, no, you shouldn't have been helps. doing that. God damn it. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favour. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Okay, right. <laughs> Sorry for that, just cutting it off there, but I'm going to end that episode there. And uh, the next episode should be up on Wednesday, so it's like a, just a day gap in between each episode. Uh, hopefully, going to make it more regular now. I'm going to try and set uh, up time every day for editing and recording, blah, blah, blah. So it shouldn't be all weeks apart, because I know it's pretty shit if it is. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Again, if there's anything you want me to do or see, or if you want me to stop doing this and do something else, just let me know in the comments. And otherwise, feel free to like, comment, and of course, if you haven't already, subscribe and share this around. And thank you very much for watching, and I will see you motherfuckers later. Peace. Uh, no, you see there? I didn't even walk. The hell are you on about? Your leg feel weak. He just wants to no. cut the leg off. I just wanted to ask you. Uh Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? Because we have I the Ironwood. It's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone which led to more killings of someone's and then, well, here we are. And that is pretty much the summary of Game of Thrones for you. Okay, so yeah, they want the Ironwood. New Lord of the House is Ethan. Can I can leave I go there? now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... You're not chopping it off. Lady Forrester.